Before they set sail, Costa Diadema's crew has a busy day ahead. I go to check it because I don't found. Otherwise, without this, I cannot start. Down near the waterline. Okay. Chief Engineer Alberto Cipollina is overseeing the refueling of the ship. Now they are almost finished to connect the, the hose. Today we bring 1,800 metric tons uh, heavy fuel oil and uh, 350 metric tons uh, of uh, diesel oil. It's a top priority. After all, Barcelona is the only port at which they can fill up. A really a lot. But it takes a lot longer than your everyday trip to the gas station. 400 metric tons for hours, so we need the four or five hours, more or less. Not far away, third engineer Vincenzo Scognamillo and the rest of the engine team work on one of the ship's most vital components, its seawater pump. The pump uses a motor to spin a metal column called an impeller, which draws in seawater from outside the ship and sends it to the engines to cool them. They're moving the electrical motor. It's heavy lifting. The electrical motor will be maintained by the electrical department. The 28,000 horsepower motor weighs about one ton and has to be handled with extreme care. With the motor out of the way, they can now get at the impeller. When spinning at 147 RPM, it delivers 5,300 gallons of water per minute to cool the engines and keep them running at peak efficiency. We have another pump to step back, but if the boat failure will be a very big problem. If both pumps were to fail, the ship's engines would overheat and shut down. So maintenance like this can't be ignored. This one and I will go in the workshop. They will maintain it and then we will put it back. Conflict in traffic. We should not. The clock is ticking. It's almost 11 a.m. To let us know if you know. The bridge team will need to know the engines are back in working order by 4 p.m. to guarantee the ship will depart on schedule. By 3:30, in the engine room. Impeller, and it's in good condition. Now we can push it back. Vincenzo and the other engineers are putting the seawater pump back together, lowering the impeller into place and securing it before putting the motor back on top. The electrical motor was maintenance, and then we're going to restore it to the pump. Mission accomplished in less than five hours.